out of here. We are leaving. This is the rollout. It's kind of disorganized. Everybody just jumps in their cars and goes. Right, we are back in the shop. We've got the cars uh, back in here. We've got the Monte Carlo. Uh, we did a real good detailed job on it before the show, so we wanted to make sure we kept it clean, so we put a nice uh, cover over it. Uh, Mustang is back. Uh, so let's talk about results. Uh, well, unfortunately, the Monte Carlo did not win anything. Uh, that's understandable. Uh, No matter. I mean, it is what it is. You know, uh, the good. The show was great. Three hundred, I think, a little over three hundred cars showed up. Uh, so, uh, you know, it, it was a good show. Uh, that's what I like. I got to spend some days there, hanging out. I got to see friends that I hadn't seen in years. Uh, I ran into a, a good friend that I hadn't seen in at least five or six years. A friend of mine ran actually ran into another guy that he said he hadn't even seen in twenty years. And he actually got to see him there at that show. So that's one of the things we look forward to because this type of show, this type of indoor show with a lot of a lot of publicity does attract people that normally don't go to the to the weekend shows, but they do come out for the bigger show. So overall, that was a, that was a great experience uh, on the Monte Carlo. We were in the Chevelle modified uh, looking at 19. Uh, what is that? 1964 through 2020 class uh chevelle i'm assuming it's chevelle and or modified 64 to 2020 so that's the class we ended up in uh and that included a lot of different cars i know that there was a 442 cutlass that was in that class uh i believe uh uh, friends, uh, Studebaker Sky, uh, uh, what was it called? A, a Silverhawk uh, was in that class. So we kind of just got thrown into an other category. So, I mean, that included a lot of different vehicles, right? And that's how we ended up not winning anything because obviously when you're thrown into a category that, that that's that big, you know, you have way less chances of taking any any trophies or anything home. So moving on to the Mustang, the good news is the Mustang actually came in in second place. Place in the Fox body class. And let me tell you why that is. But let me show you the little plaque that we received. Um, so we came in second place in the Mustang 74 through 93 original slash restored class. Okay. So let me tell you how we ended up there. Basically, uh, there was only four Fox bodies uh, in the whole show. 300 cars, and there was only four Fox bodies in, in, the whole, in the whole deal. 
It, it was my car, uh, my, my, my coupe. And actually, my coupe was the only coupe in the entire deal. It was my coupe, uh, an LX hatchback, a GT hatchback, and then another friend's uh, convertible. Uh, I think his car is a GT convertible. Uh, I believe he took first place. So uh, that's basically when there's only four cars in a class, that's what you're going to end up with. So, you know, good deal. You know, uh, the Mustang, uh, uh, you know, to be honest, I mean, we take it to all the Saturday cruise-ins. Uh, we drove it to the island, we, you know, to the South Padre Island. We drive it everywhere. So, uh, you know, we're not the best at, at least I'm not the best at, at cleaning cars up for shows. I just kind of give everything a quick wipe down and, and off she goes. But uh, here we are. The Mustang got second place. A good deal on that. So, uh, yeah. So that's kind of the things. I mean, we, we normally don't enter shows. Uh, we're not trophy hounds. We're not looking for trophies or anything like that. Uh, we just like to have the experience of hanging out with friends uh, and having a, just a good time hanging out. So that was that's pretty cool. But either way, you know, uh, you know, I had a lot of friends that were upset that the Monte Carlo didn't win anything. But I hope this clears that up as to why the Monte Carlo uh, didn't bring anything home. Uh, it's still a beautiful car. A lot of people don't understand the car. Uh, as I stated before, if you look at the bottom of the car, the bottom of the car is painted the same color as the top of the car. So if we had some mirrors or something like that, you would have been able to see that the car is actually very, very nicely detailed uh, on the bottom. Uh, I had some few friends suggest, you know, you should have thrown some 13-inch uh, Dayton wheels on it and maybe put it in the lowrider class, you know. And that would have, you know, there was, there was only like five or six lowriders. But even then, they were freaking awesome lowriders. I mean, a lot of detail on these cars, crazy paint jobs, crazy interiors. So, yeah, no way we would have won that deal either. So, anyway, that's it. All right, we'll talk to you guys on the next video.